Hi guys, Mr. Hill here, back with our next history lesson for this week. The, today, we're going to start looking more at why and where the Anglo-Saxons, or where the Angles, the Saxons and the Jutes came from in order to get to England. And look more behind the reasons that they came. We know that they came from Denmark, Germany, Netherlands and Sweden. We need to, we're going to look at how they came here as well. They came in wooden boats across the seas, so they would have come across the North Sea here. So from Denmark, they would have come across Germany and Holland or the Netherlands would have come up as well. So why might you move to a different country? We talked about some push and pull factors yesterday. Things like a new job, a nicer climate, avoiding war and persecution more opportunities so opportunities to have a better job which is one of the other factors we've got be able to live more comfortably grow better crops have better land to farm on maybe even have better a better climate the quality of life that would link in with climate as well to be with family and friends if they've already moved across made if your family or friends have already made the journey they're already settled in a new country you might might be more we might be more likely to go across to see them. Take a minute, we're gonna pause here, have a look at these factors and see if you can work out whether they're a push or a pull. Okay, how did we get on with those? Right, so our first one, the new job is a pull factor. It's bringing you towards something. It makes you want to go there. The nicer climate, yep, that's a pull factor as well. I know certainly sometimes when we're in England and it's cold and wet and miserable, I think, do you know what? It would be lovely to go and move somewhere nice and warm. Avoiding war and persecution. So this is a push. It's something that says, no, I need to get away from here. It's something that encourages you to leave that place. More opportunities, that's a pull factor again. So you've got more opportunities to do better things with your life. Maybe learn a trade, learn a skill that you're not available to you where you currently lived. Quality of life is a bit of both. So it's a bit of a trick question, that one. You might have an awful quality of life where you are. So that will be a push factor which try and drive you away from where you are. And you know that your quality of life will be better somewhere else. That would be the pull factor for that somewhere else. And to be with friends and family. That would definitely be a pull factor. There'd be people you know there that have already settled there, they've already made friends, new friends within the communities that are there. You'd be able to fit in and join in more. So we have our friend here. He could be an Angle, he could be a Saxon, possibly a Jute. He's going to tell us a few reasons about why he came. Good morrow, child. We Angles. Ah, so we know he's an Angle. I was right in my guess, together with the Saxons and Jutes invaded Britain after the Romans left. We came across the North Sea in wooden boats from what you now call Germany, Denmark and the Netherlands. We're good farmers, but our land often flooded and it was difficult to grow crops. So we're looking for new places to raise our families. Because the armies of Rome had left, some Britons invited us to help us keep out invaders from Scotland and Ireland offering us money in return. This is something we talked about yesterday in, in yesterday's lesson, where we've had the, the kings in England were trying to keep out invaders and they'd hire the best, strongest warriors from these other tribes. So from the Angles and the Saxons and the Jutes. Other people like King Arthur tried to fight us off, however, but we soon settled in what is now called England, meaning Angle land. So are these people coming to settle in England actually helped part of shape part of our country? So those who didn't like the Anglo-Saxons fled westwards and went to live in Wales and Cornwall. So we've got some push and pull factors in here as well. So if we look at the third thing that was said, we're good farmers, but our land often flooded and it was difficult to grow crops. That would be an example of a push factor. It would be something that would encourage these people to leave and look for new lands. So they were looking for new places to raise their families. So Britain, which then became England, was a really exciting prospect. We don't flood very often. We've got good land. We didn't have Rome here to keep out invaders. So where there were opportunities for jobs for warriors as well as for farmers. 
So your task, we're going to have a go at drawing a map of Britain. So there it is, there's a copy there. You're gonna have a go, draw it out for yourselves, add in the coastline of Europe, similar to what's on this map. Do a bit of research, find out where the Jutes, the Saxons and the Angles came from and where they landed. We touched on this yesterday in yesterday's lesson, might go back and refresh your memory there, but try and do your own research, find out where they came to. Draw some color coded arrows to show each journey. So for the Jutes journey, I'd like you to color those lines in in yellow. For the Saxons, those lines are going to be red and the green will be for the angles. Pause the video here, take the time you need to complete your work. And when you're ready, press play to carry on. Okay, how have you got on? I'd like to share with you the answers so you see how closely you got yours. So here we have a map which has got marked on it where everybody came from and where they arrived at. So Germany and the Netherlands over here, the Saxons arrived in East Anglia. So sort of Norfolk way area in our country now. Southern Denmark, so our green, they're the Angles. They landed in Mercia in Northumbria, very, very north in the country. And then from Northern Denmark, we had the Jutes. And they came and settled in Kent. They're quite not too far from where we are now. So they've all come across in different ways and taken some very different routes. You can see the Jutes have possibly taken the longest route from northern Denmark up here all the way down to Kent. So there would have been a big change in the climate that they were exposed to when this happened. Northern Denmark's obviously much closer to the Arctic Circle. It would have been colder. And as a result of that, they wouldn't have been able to grow as many crops. They would have had found it harder to raise cattle. By coming all the way down to Kent, the weather would have been better. They would have had better land to farm on. And for quite a few of these, that's the same. For the Saxons coming from Germany and the Netherlands, the land floods quite often. So as it was one of the things that was mentioned earlier, it's very difficult to grow good crops when the land's constantly flooded because it washes away the seeds and the crops that you're trying to grow. So, why have we come here? We know where the Anglo-Saxons came from. Can you remember why they made that long, dangerous journey? This is your second task for today. Use your research skills, including the link in the description below, to explain why the Anglo-Saxons came to Britain. Think about the things we've already talked about. Better jobs, not for fear of being attacked, there might have been issues back in their own country, which would have pushed them away if there was another tribe or someone trying to attack them. Look forward to seeing you what you've come up with in our next live session. I'm going to leave you here, leave you to carry on with your work. I'll speak to you soon and stay safe, everybody.